Welcome back to Life's Shabbat. My name is Avital, and this week's Parshat is Parshat B'zot HaBracha. And Parshat B'zot HaBracha is the very last Parsha of the five books of Moses. So we spent the last 54-ish weeks going through every story from the creation of the world until now. And this is how the Torah ends. And Parshat B'zot HaBracha teaches us many lessons, but the one I'm going to focus on today is about how we can maintain our youthful spirit and outlook on life even into well into our old age. And so Parsha Pizot HaBracha, it takes place on the very last day of Moses' life, in the waning hours of his time on this earth. And Moses spends the time going tribe by tribe, giving a blessing to each tribe according to each one's needs. And then God tells Moses to ascend this mountain and to look out into the land of Canaan, this promised land that has been the central focus of Moses' entire life's work. And this is the land that was promised to Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob and to the forefathers and everything we've seen throughout this Torah. And they're on the precipice of entering this land now. And God tells Moses to look out and see all of this land. And then Moses dies. And Moses is mourned by the Jewish people. And following the period of mourning, Joshua raises up as their leader. And that is where our Torah ends, by telling us that there was never again a leader as great as Moses was. And so it's a very special Parsha. Again, the culmination of the, you know, four of the five books of the Torah. And what I thought was very interesting was this verse when it describes Moses' death. The Torah says that Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye had not dimmed and his vigor had not diminished. And so when I was thinking about that verse, I looked towards the late Rabbi Jonathan Sachs of Blessed Memory um, for wisdom. Rabbi Sachs has done many Torah, Torah commentaries and um, he spoke about this verse in particular. And the way Rabbi Sachs interpreted this verse was not as two separate descriptions that his um, eye had not dimmed and his vigor had not diminished, but rather one is the explanation for the other. His eye had not dimmed and therefore his vigor had not diminished. So in other words, his eye had not dimmed means that that sparkle in his eye, that youthful hope, that way of looking at the world with a sense of positivity and potential had not diminished and therefore his vigor, his strength, his ability to carry on hadn't diminished. His eyes still sparkled and therefore he still had the spirit and the strength to carry on in life. And I thought that was a very beautiful idea that Rabbi Sachs shared. And I added my own thought to that, which is that Moses worked up until the very last hours leading up to his death. He spent the last day of his life blessing the tribes, which again has been this mission of his life. He didn't retire, he worked up until his death at 120 years old, which is quite an impressive accomplishment. And I think what we can learn from Moses, and we can learn from Moses many things as a leader, but what we can learn from Moses as a man, as an individual, was that in order in many ways to grow into our old age, while maintaining this youthful spirit and energy about us is that we need to continue to have a mission and a purpose, something that gets us up each and every day, and that it's so easy in life because of the hardships of life, because of the struggles we go through, to let the wear and tear age us prematurely perhaps. The weight of the world on our shoulders makes us heavy and makes us feel very um, potentially cynical or jaded towards the world. But that was not the case with Moses. He maintained this hopeful spirit in life, but particularly as it pertained to the Jewish people and what their future could look like. He never lost hope. Moses didn't have a simple or an easy life. I think most of us would have envied Moses. He um, grew up separated from his parents. Um, then he became the leader of the Jewish people, which was not a position he wanted. And it was a position filled with a lot of hardship. It wasn't like the Jewish people were always happy and grateful and thankful towards Moses. No, they, they, they were upset with Moses. They were angry with him. They asked him to take them back to Egypt. And there were times when God was angry with Moses. And 
It was a really challenging position. Moses' life was not without difficulty or struggle. However, Moses managed to maintain this hopeful spirit for the future, for life, for what could be, for what the Jewish people could become. He never failed the Jewish people in thinking that they were beyond hope. He always knew that there was something that he or God or the Jewish people could do to come back to their closeness with God. So he didn't give up on the Jewish people. He kept fighting on their behalf and he made it his mission. Again, he saw his mission fulfilled in many ways that on the last day of his life, here the Jews were finally ready to enter the land of Canaan, this promised land. And so I think it's a very beautiful lesson in our own lives. Not to become cynical just because we're older and we think we know the way the world works, but rather to think about how the excitement that we had when we were younger for the world, or the way that we used to problem solve when something would come up and instead of letting it weigh us down so deeply, we just brush it off our shoulders the way we once were able to do. And that those things combined will give us both a younger physical body, but also a younger spiritual body. And so I think that's a very beautiful lesson to close out this tour cycle. And I wish you all a wonderful week and a Shabbat Shalom. And I look forward to speaking with you next time.